There is a fantasy about leadership, a fantasy that those who are in leadership positions or who lead big companies or organisations are somehow less human and more capable than the average person. And this fantasy can cause a lot of challenges for people who end up in leadership roles, especially if that fantasy was about somebody who had it all together, who knew what they were doing, who understood everything. And then they're in a leadership role and they're not that person. Why does that matter, you might be saying? Well, it matters because all humans have insecurities, concerns, fears and inner critic. And when you have grown up, whether that's from a child or just in your adult life, with perceptions of leaders as being smarter, more capable, more together, when you've only seen the outside element of leadership and leaders, then it's easy for you to feel even less able for the leadership role you're in. It will increase the odds that your inner critic will get really loud and that your level of self-criticism will get really high. So some of this will come from just simply that you might be really hyper self-critical. You may be quite harsh on yourself and add all of the expectations you perceive and fantasise about other people having, other leaders being able to do, being more ready for. Like one of the examples that I always come back to is in Michelle Obama's book, and I'm about to butcher the quote, she said something like she sat at the table with all the most powerful people in the world and they're no different to your eye. And if you haven't worked with really powerful people or sat with really powerful people and before I had those experiences, I, I would have probably thought the same. I would have thought, yeah, there must be something special about them. But there isn't. People are just people who do their best and sometimes through power and privilege and sometimes through hard work, end up in positions of power and end up in leadership positions. And then they do their best, attempt to use their internal compass, attempt to use their values, attempt to achieve the outcomes that they're aiming for. But the reality is that everybody's just doing their best. And if your internal critic is really high, if you have a really high standard for yourself and you have a fantasy about leadership, well then, whenever you're in a leadership role or in a leadership position, you're more likely to compare yourself to fantasies about leadership rather than the less sexy, more basic human elements of leadership. And even the most powerful people in the world who make really key decisions that have implications for loads of people, they are still just people making decisions and they make some good decisions and they make some bad decisions. And those decisions have impacts. And what I find is that leaders who are really hyper self-critical or have a real leaning towards being self-critical rather than kind of more of a balanced view, which is reviewing one's own capacities and skills, and then also equally being able to understand that somebody, you've done a good job, even if it's not perfect, but also have realistic expectations. Without realistic expectations in your leadership work, you're likely to be very hard on yourself to be overcritical, to be more anxious, more stressed, less available for learning and for new data and new information, and more caught up in your own self-esteem challenges. If this resonates with you and you're thinking, well, I'm a leader or I'm trying to lead or manage or influence people, and I tend to get caught up in my own self-doubt and my own self-criticism, then I'd encourage you to think about how your own internal dialogue is actually influencing your experience of the world and the experience of work. And a couple of things you can do, you can come for leadership coaching, you could join the leadership development book club so that you can talk to other leaders and normalise the reality of leadership and not just the kind of glossed over thing that we see in most settings. You can think about joining communities, you can think about joining a programme in a university, but ultimately, that self-esteem piece is going to need you to bring a reality check to the fantasies you have about who should and shouldn't be a leader, what qualities leaders should have, and therefore what qualities you should have that you don't. And so understanding that that internal criticism is often mixed with the fantasy of leaders that we have. And it's just really important to understand how that may set you up to fail, and it may set you up not to be the most effective leader you can be. 
you have any questions, you can pop me an email or contact me on any of the social media platforms. The details are below, as well as a link to the coaching opportunities, a link to the book club and other alternative options that you have. I look forward to hearing from you.